On the 4th of September 476, the overthrow of Romulus Augustulus by the barbarian general Odoacer or Odoacer marked the end of the Western Roman Empire. Welcome to History Pod. Romulus Augustulus was placed on the imperial throne on the 31st of October 475 by his father Orestes, a senior military commander. Decades of political turmoil, economic instability, military pressures from barbarian invasions and administrative challenges had left the empire both weakened and fragmented. Orestes installed his son after marching against the previous emperor, who was forced to flee. Known as Augustulus, or Little Augustus since he was still a 16-year-old minor, he's usually seen as a puppet ruler for his father's ambitions. Augustulus's brief reign lasted for just under a year. Despite the significant power of his father, the auxiliary general Odoacer challenged the emperor to provide his non-Roman mercenary soldiers with estates in Italy. When these demands were refused by Orestes, Odoacer gathered his supporters and launched a coup. Orestes was executed in August, and after capturing the imperial capital of Ravenna, the young emperor was forced to abdicate in front of the Senate on September 4th, 476. Reportedly sympathetic to Romulus's youth, Odoacer chose not to execute him, but instead exiled him to Campania. The overthrow of Romulus Augustulus and Odoacer's assumption of the title Rex, or King, is considered by many as the end of the Western Roman Empire. Although Julius Nepos still claimed to be Emperor of the West, and controlled Dalmatia until his murder in 480, Romulus's overthrow facilitated Odoacer's rise and the transition to the Ostrogothic Kingdom. While definitive dates for change are always fiercely debated, there's little doubt that these events triggered the emergence of new political entities and a transformation of Europe's geopolitical landscape that saw the transition from antiquity to the Middle Ages. 